Mr. Ropodo, Chicho, I believe the correction in the Western economies is just beginning. Indeed, Mr. Ropodo, uh, markets having worst month of the year, crypto dropping, real estate is stagnant because of rates, bonds are dropping, regional banks are at risk, personal credit at historic low, fiat at historic low in terms of buying power, etc. China, Japan, and Europe looking shaky at best with oil going back up i believe it will lead to great buying opportunities <laughs> yeah but let it play out let it play out not only that all the stuff you're saying war 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 right the the only response really centralized power has to this kind of chaos that they created war 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 more centralization devastation right why do people fucking believe centralized governments i have no idea i had a conversation about this last night with a friend right a nurse okay that got fired not my partner a different nurse that got fired because she didn't take the injections right i said in canada one of the mantras one of the programmings they did with people is they would tell people never talk religion or politics in a social setting and dinner dinner table or anything like this so for decades they've been telling people don't talk politics or religion with people right what the fuck right religion is your spiritual understanding of who you are to a certain degree and how to where where you are in this world right what this world is about to a certain degree right you can you, you can call religion you can call spirituality you can call meditation me meditation you can call whatever the hell you want right but beyond the material is the spiritual discussion so for decades they've been telling people don't talk about anything spiritual they've also been telling people don't talk politics and right now everyone should understand that politics governs every fucking aspect of your life including what you're allowed to put into your body right the food you eat the f uh, um, medicine you take where you can go who you can talk to where you can shop where you can do fucking everything everything is politics right where you can spend your money or if you can't spend your money they've been telling people for decades don't talk spirituality don't talk politics so don't talk about the two most important things in humans for humanity right and as soon as something like this comes along people are completely oblivious in the western world in canada anyway as to what the real game is at play right and the person i was talking to last night well, i mentioned to them i said look in canada people are majority of people believe the government think the government cares for them in third world countries second world countries even first world countries where people understand what government is they know that government lies the government doesn't give a rat's ass about them bureaucrats are bureaucrats politicians are politicians they are not they are playing a role they don't care about me and you and the community in general right they care about their own fucking pocketbooks and their power most people know this in the world the majority of people in the world know this it's only in western countries where people actually fucking they're stupid enough to think that oh government doesn't lie what the fuck the corporate media doesn't lie what the fuck two comedians had a lot to say about this george carlin said it straight up he didn't he said i don't believe a word that government states and that's the way you should be you shouldn't believe a single word that the government states. You should double check yourself. And Bill Hicks put it incredibly brilliantly when he was talking about drugs, right? He had a little, little sketch where he said, if the news is supposed to be the news, how come everything in the news about drugs is bad? If the news is the news, then shouldn't they at least cover two sides of the story? because drugs you know aren't all bad he's like i've had some bad times on drugs but I have some amazing times on drugs right and that's me included 
Bill Hicks is saying that about himself, but anybody that's done drugs, you know, there's some fucking bad times and there's some amazing times. Alcohol is a fucking drug, right? There's some amazing times you can have with it. There are some fucking bad times you can have with it, right? But if the news is the news, how come they're only talking about the bad? Where's the good side of this thing, right? And if you think drugs are all bad, then you should take, everybody should take all the music that they listen to, all the rock and roll you listen to, Beatles, Rolling Stones, Zeppelin, Deep Purple, well, Rush didn't do too much drugs, but a lot of the other bands, rock bands or any other musicians, and flush them down the toilet because a lot of that amazing music was created under the influence of drugs. That's including scientific discoveries, right? Including scientific discoveries. So you have to be born fucking like yesterday to believe that corporate media tells you the truth and the government doesn't lie that's where we are in the western world 